displaced from their homes. Some people are taking advantage of the monsoon to save up rainwater for future use and saving water can also earn money. 13 News reporter Andres Rendon spoke with water harvesters on how you can start collecting water and get some money back too. Andres. Well, you know, Valerie, living in a desert environment, you want to conserve as much water as you can. Well, one Tucson woman collects rainwater in a cistern just like this one, but she took it one step further. Martha Retallick has been living in Tucson for 20 years. Originally from Pennsylvania, she wanted her home to have that lush green feel, but it took some time to get to where she is today. When I first saw this property, there was no landscaping here. There was crushed rock in the front yard and Bermuda grass in the backyard. And shortly before I moved in, a friend and I came over here and she looked at the front yard and said, that's your palette. And I was inspired. Adjusting to the new climate was a rough start. After a failed attempt at planting agave, Ritalik slowly learned new knowledge and built up her skills. And that's one of the first things I learned is that in the desert, everything else wants to come to the party. When you plant something, nature wants it. Today, most of Vitalik's water for her garden is collected on her 500 square foot roof, where just one inch of rain provides 250 gallons of water in her storage tank. Her laundry also helps out too. Waste water from the washing machine is pumped out to the backyard to water her bushes. In Vitalik's front yard, trees receive rainwater using her homemade basins, which she fills with mulch to slow evaporation. Now it comes out through the downspout and travels along this swale. And now I'm in the basin. Ritalik's garden isn't the only green she's seeing. Her water harvesting brings a rebate from Tucson Water. To qualify, you must take a workshop and then submit your plans to Tucson Water. It's still a good practice because it will teach you some additional principles and uh, the maintenance of it. Uh, in addition to that, even if you already are harvesting water, there is still an available rebate for you if you come to the class. Pedro Sanchez also reminds folks to have a plan for active and passive harvesting. So incorporating a holistic and hybrid system is really the key takeaway, I think, from this class. A tip Martha gives to beginners is that even though water harvesting can seem expensive, it's okay to start off small and grow from there. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Smart Skips classes or how to earn that rebate, be sure to head to our site at KOLD.com. Reporting live from Campbell and River, Andres Rendon, 13 News. All right, thank you, Andres. Let's bring